hi guys how you all doing hope you're doing okay you're welcome to my youtube channel life of sabelle my name is sabelle and if you're new here thanks for joining the fam and please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to share my video so that youtube can recommend my videos well today like the caption says it all i'm going to be showing you or rather i'm going to be talking about how to apply for your tuberculosis test how to do your tuberculosis test from the beginning to the end like it's going to be a step-by-step -step guideline on how to do your tuberculosis test so um without wasting much time let's just get right into it <laughs> okay guys um i think for ease of clarification and all i'm just going to talk about um i'm just going to like maybe um put a bullet points um you see it on the screen and um this explain it properly so what we're going to be talking about is who needs a tuberculosis test that's the first one like the first one is who needs a tuberculosis test the second one is where can you do your tuberculosis test the third one is how much you need for your tuberculosis test as payment generally and the fourth one guys is when can you do your tuberculosis test so let's just get into it um tuberculosis test or tb test as we call it in nigeria yeah this sorry if i didn't mention it but this is how you do your tuberculosis test in nigeria um tb test as we all know it was popularly called in nigeria is um, a screening test is a chest x-ray that is done and it is a very important requirement if you are traveling to the uk so guys who needs a tuberculosis test you only need a tuberculosis test if you're traveling to the uk and you intend to stay more than six months so on any visa you are on as long as you're stepping into this uk and you're staying for more than six months be it six months and one day or whatever it is you need a tuberculosis test if you're on a student visa if you're on a dependent visa if you're on a global talent visa if you're on a skilled worker visa as long even if you're on a tourist visa as long as you're staying more than six months guys you need to do your tuberculosis test but let me also point out that if you're coming in as a visiting uh, a visiting visa or anything if you're staying for less than six months maybe you're coming to visit and intend to say two weeks three weeks you don't need to do a tuberculosis test but anything that will make you stay in the uk for more than six months please ensure that you do your tuberculosis test because it is a very important requirement and without it you cannot even apply for your visa because you will need it as one of the requirements test is usually a chest x-ray but if you are pregnant you will not do a chest x-ray guys you have to carry out or they will have to carry out a sputum um is putting tests for you so that your results will be out in eight weeks unlike maybe the usual um tuberculosis test where your certificates might likely even come out same day but if you're pregnant you'll do a sputum test not a chest test ray and then your results will be out in eight weeks so if you want to start your your visa application and all ensure that you do your tuberculosis test on time and also by the time they grant you your certificate guys after you must have that to clear you of the tuberculosis this certificate is valid for six months yes it's valid for six months so if you intend to travel don't say ah, maybe you want to wait till like um maybe the final week before you apply for your visa you can actually um target the time so that you'll be able to um maybe um apply within six months so that you can use your tuberculosis test that's it for the first question the government website i'm going to leave it on um i'm going to leave show you guys on uh, on the screen it is a very the uk gov website is a very 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 important website when you want to do this your tuberculosis test please in fact don't neglect it do not neglect it. it it has all the important information that you need in fact everything i'm saying here is all on the uk government website i'm going to leave it like i said on the screen and also 
I'm also going to show you guys later on in this video how to be able to book for this test. Yes, how to be able to book for this test. So guys, location or rather who can do a tuberculosis test? I think I've covered that one. So secondly, when can you do your tuberculosis test? In fact, I've even mentioned it just now. You can do your tuberculosis test within six months. That's because your certificate um, is valid for six months. So you can do your certificate within six months or rather before you travel like six months before you travel you can do your certificate your tuberculosis test within that six months you get it. so if you intend to travel ensure that you do your tuberculosis test within a six months period before you travel okay guys um another one like i said you know the um, bullet points i was going to use another one is where can you carry out or where can you do this uk and um, this tuberculosis test there are only two recognized places in nigeria where you can do your tuberculosis test don't let anybody deceive you say ah you get one you get one hospital where if you don't na 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 sharp sharp they go give you certificates now la yo you can only do your tuberculosis test in lagos and abuja guys lagos and abuja the uk government have the um the address i'm also going to leave it on the screen they have the address where of where it is located in abuja and in lagos i think in lagos it's located in in ikeja or something and in abuja uh, it's located i've forgotten the area but i'm going to leave it um on the screen but if you also check the uk government website it is there don't let anybody deceive you for a sharp sharp certificate because now you do yourself oh now you do yourself i'm telling you don't let anybody deceive you and then guys how much do you need for your tuberculosis test on the uk government website it is stated that as an adult that is for persons that are above from 11 years and above including adults you pay 150 usd 150 dollars which is like the equivalent i think is about 57 or maybe 59,000 naira in nigeria and then if you're 11 years and below you pay 60 usd that's about 23,000 naira or so in nigeria guys it's not this don't let anybody go and collect more than that from you always check the uk government website to know the actual amount you're paying okay guys when you're also making your payments for your tuberculosis test please ensure that you make it to the appropriate um bank account details to the um, recognized bank account details making these payments ensure that you use the, um, the reference number that's maybe your, your passport details ensure that you use it as your reference number and that's what is stated in the uk government website if you're going for your to be um, tuberculosis test after you must have booked and all there are documents that you need yeah that's the fourth um, bullet point the documents that you need they include your passports mm? or your identification but preferably they said your passports then number two you also need a receipt of your payment that is you need a photocopy of your identification that's maybe your passport you take a photocopy and if you also had maybe tuberculosis in the past or something and maybe you had a certificate or thereabouts you also need to take it along with you guys let's just go straight up into this um how to book for your tuberculosis test i'm going to just take you through a screen record through a screen record to show you guys how to book for your tuberculosis test but before that in booking for your tuberculosis test let me mention that you can book it either through phoning them when you call them their numbers on the uk and um, government website their numbers are there you call send them a, an email you can send them an email to book and then they will also respond to you and the third option is also going through applying online you can apply online and get your dates and do your payments online for me i think that is like maybe the quickest process of getting um 
a date or something or booking this appointment is for me that's how i did mine i don't know how things are right now but i think it's still the same way actually so you should be able to book online sharp sharp and let's just go straight into the screen recording guys so guys you have to go to the search um, button i'm using google for my google chrome so um you check for the uk gov tuberculosis test for nigerians that's actually what i'm going to type as you can see i've already typed it before but i'm just is is showing up on my search um history uk gov tuberculosis test for nigerians and i've clicked on it and these are the options here that are quite um um important for what we're doing so i'm going to click on tuberculosis testing in nigeria and yeah when it's going to open so this are just it's it's going to open up and show us this screen the uk gov dot website a big gov dot uk website and talking about guidance on tuberculosis testing in nigeria and i've already said it before most of the things here the contents here attending the clinic what you should bring with you payment step-by-step -step procedures says you must be tested for tuberculosis if you're coming to the uk for more than six months and are a resident of nigeria or benin your test must be from a clinic approved by the home office and you will need to obtain an iom medical certificate confirming that you are free from tb and it says we will not accept a tb test certificate from a clinic we have not approved and also going down is listing exceptions that for those that do not need the certificate yeah so you do not need the certificate if you're this that that than that and it says uh yeah basically that's just what it says so guys this is the address if you're in abuja or if you intend to go to abuja if you this is the address that you will need to go to the international organization for migration that is the iom office where you'll be doing your tuberculosis test in abuja as you can see you also have the telephone number the and the mobile number as well you also have your e the email like i said when you want to book you can book via telephone you can book via mobile and you can also book your appointment online you can see it, it says you can also book your appointment tb test appointment online and it also goes to show you their operating hours where you can call them or reach them and they will get back to you and also it says test fees payment must be made prior to the medical examination in us dollars or naira and it's also showing you the test fee for tb screening is about 150 us dollars i mentioned it already and 60 usd dollars for a people aged 10 years and below and guys this is the payment um bank details this is the only payment bank details don't pay it into any other account guys and moving further we're going to be talking about um the lagos address and the telephone numbers and still the same thing it has the email so yeah this is the lagos international my um, organization for migration showing the numbers the email and says you can also book your tb test appointment online guys take note of the difference there is lagos and then there is abuja and also um we're going to scroll down okay this is also the payment details for the lagos um tb test yes so we would also be scrolling down here to says attending the clinic and these are the things that you should be do, uh, do when you attend the clinic and it also says what you should bring with you i've already mentioned it before 
your approval certificate and photocopy and all that and goes down to show payments how you should make your payment i've already said that and this is also the step-by-step procedure it's quite easy it's a very straightforward website so now i'm going to be using um abuja as a case study so i'm going to scroll up to abuja like i said be careful abuja and lagos i'm going to be using abuja as a case study to book for my tb test online so that place where it says you can also book your tb test online i'm going to click on that highlighted tb test appointment online so i've clicked on it and this is the page you're showing me it has automatically taken me to um the iom website where it says schedule an appointment my country of departure i'm going to click on nigeria because we're going to be departing from nigeria and yeah i've clicked on it my destination we're going to the united kingdom what 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 <laughs> and then it says um visa type yeah um you select the visa type there are different ones is it work visa is a student with some um, scholarship is it um students just anything so for now for this we're just going to click on student without scholarship yeah and uh, if you're more than one person you should um let's just say you're clicking and then you click to if you're more than one person so in this case i'm going to click to and then you press or you click on start and then to take you to the next page which is the step two where you click on the center is it abuja here is going to still bring it out again is it abuja or lagos so you click on the one you want i said in this case we're going to be using abuja so i'm going to click on abuja and then um you yeah, have clicked on abuja it says click to read terms and condition we're going to click hit and then it says um yeah you have to agree to be able to leave this page so what you have to scroll to the end and then you click on i agree and then um it will take you back where you have to click on it again and then requirements and procedure you also have to click on it again um this is just the requirements and the procedure <laughs> yeah okay this is the requirements and the procedures opened and then you have to click on close and then yeah to so now take you down to the appointment summary you've already clicked like all the just the summary of everything we have clicked so far your departure your visa type the center your destination and all so you have to go down you have to scroll down guys and then you're going to see um that's your applicant number and then it will take you straight to the next page step three select appointments where you have to select the appointment uh, the dates available from the day that i'm making this video is from the 15th of november so if you go back if you say you want to go back there are no slots available for 14th of november so you see it says sorry slot is not available so you have to click on let's just say um i want to choose a date for 30th of november so i'm going to click on this calendar looking like thing beside the date here and then choose the date for the 30th of november and then choose the time let's say i want 10 31 a.m i'm going to click on 10 31 a.m and it will take me um it said the selected time slot is only reserved once the appointment is confirmed so this is appointment summary a, a, a summary of everything we've done before and then i'm gonna click on if you have made a mistake you can go back if you haven't you can click on continue and then you click on continue to take you to the next page guys and then it says important remind reminder this process must be completed within 15 minutes and then guys it says you can call step four is the registration where you have to register in all your details fields marked with asterisk are mandatory and entries must be completed in english 
It also says that you can call the IOM Migration Health Assessment Center to check whether they can accommodate an additional member at your reserved appointment period. Maybe you wanted to um, put three dependents or three family members and you mistakenly chose two. So maybe you can call them to see if they can amend it. And um, so this is the details you put in all your details for your date of birth you click on that calendar looking like thing <laughs> yeah and then you select the month you select the year and then you go to that good that one that's green on the screen and then you select it you select says you select your nationality you select your address in the uk if you're a student you put your school address you put in your school address and um, nationality we're going to be choosing nigeria because that's where you come from and as your present address does um your present address in nigeria you include that and your address in the uk your postcode and all and it also goes to show um other information where you put your passport number, your issue date, passport expiry date, your contact no number in Nigeria, and also maybe an alternative contact number in Nigeria, and your email address. It says set a password. So it says your password has to contain a lowercase letter, an uppercase letter, a number, and a symbol like. Yes, guys. Mm, just just get the um a password that fits the the information there and then applic applicant to i think maybe in the next page or after you must have filled your own page you should be able to fill for the um, details of the applicants too so this is just a summary of everything we have done and then you're going to be clicking on um continue or rather save and nest well guys i think this this is uh um, maybe should i say like a good place for me to stop so that you you can continue because i don't have all these details you can see i do not have all these details if i click on save and nest it's going to all come out in red 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 guys so i do not have all these details look at it everything is in red 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 <laughs> so if you have all these details you include them so that it takes you to the next page where you also fill details for the next applicant and also where you're also going to make payments you're also going to make payments using your card so i think guys that's where we come to the end for this screen recording like i said easy peasy very simple please try and avoid making mistakes always ensure that you go through your entries before you submit so that's the end for this screen record guys so guys as you can see it's quite easy um based on the screen recording when you choose your dates and then you fill your details if you're traveling you should be able to have all those details and then you put it in and then you put continue that's from the last um screen record i showed and then to take you maybe to a page where you can make payments yeah so it's quite a, a very very easy process and after making your payments um it to confirm and also i'm sure they'll be able to send you a mail or um, to confirm that you have paid and also um paid for your tuberculosis test and all so uh, please ensure that every detail you're putting in is correct don't make any uh, don't put any wrong information ensure that every detail is correct and basically so guys i think um we've come to the end of this video if you found it helpful please give me a thumbs up and um if you also have any questions if you want me to film any video please leave it in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next one bye bye thank you